All right, my zillions, for this review, we have the Marvel Legends Beast from X-Men, of course. And if you know me personally, uh, X-Men was probably my number one comic franchise growing up. Absolutely loved the X-Men. It, it's kind of surprising that... Um, even though I say that, like, I haven't been getting much of the Marvel Legends X-Men stuff in the past year. Uh, I've been been staying away uh, from a lot of it. It's just kind of one of those things. I just, um, because I was trying to cut down on a lot of Legends, like, X-Men was one of those things that probably would, like, force me to buy a lot of them. Um, so I didn't. However, you know, with this new wave, um... Beast is one that I really needed to have. Always loved Beast. Um, and I, I just, I, I'm a kind of a sucker for like, you know, these bigger X-Men, uh, Marvel Legends, um, just Marvel Legends in general. <laughs> uh, and I also had to have Gambit for some reason, I don't know. Just that 90s nostalgia, I guess. But that's neither here nor there because we are talking about Hank McCoy here, so let's get to it. Beast's only accessory are two hands here. Uh, they're hairy. They're sculpted well. This one's kind of a holding hand for something that we don't have. Um, and this one is... I don't know. I guess a kind of a gripping hand of some sort. Kind of a claw-y hand. Um, he does have on a fist hand and a really outstretched hand to start. You know, like, I, I, I'm not huge into talking about stuff that we don't get, uh, and I usually like to focus on the toys, but, you know, I will reiterate what a lot of folks have been saying. It would have been cool to have, like, the more intelligent, closed-mouth, eyeglassed uh, beast head to go along with this. You only get two things here. Um, you also get a um, bath piece, but I don't really talk about bath pieces. Uh, also in my reviews, if I'm going to do them, um, and I would have, ra and that's, that's for Caliban, by the way, I, w Gambit does not come with a bath piece. I think it would have been cooler if Gambit came with that Caliban head and Beast came with his own extra head. He's a bigger figure. He didn't need to build a figure piece. And that's why I wanted to mention it because I feel like there was a slight mess up there. Well, let's have a look at this head. It's cool. Um, it's a good beast head, mouth open, teeth. You know, it's painted well, the teeth. The eyes are done in a silver, which is interesting, uh, an interesting choice. Um, they look fine. His eyebrows look fine. I really like his hair. That's very classic with the blue streaks in it. Um, it looks pretty, pretty good. Ears look good. Now, my one complaint, though... Um, because I like the head, like, I don't mind this head, I really like it, you know, um, is that it's glossy, why is his face so glossy, when the rest of him really isn't, even the hands are like, while they're a little bit glossy, it's not as glossy as his face, that really throws me off, and, and to me is a little bit disappointing, um, uh, I don't know why, it just bothers me, um, I, I wish his face wasn't glossy. Looks like he's had, you know, one too many pies of pizza. Um, body is really nice. I do like it. I really like this hairy, hairy body. <laughs> and, you know, it's got some nice, like, black, uh, you know, paint over it. A little wash there, you know, to, to make the a little highlights. So I like that going down there, down the middle. And on his back, it's a little bit lighter on his back, but it's there. On his shoulders, and on his forearms, and on his fists, again, on his hands. So, you know, on the back of his hands there. It's pretty good. I do really like how, you know, the sculpted hair came out on him. It looks very nicely done. It really does. I really like the back of his calves here, how it's all, like crazy looking, a little matted looking, and his forearms here that go backwards like that, that looks really cool, you get a little bit of it coming out on the shoulders as well, so it's very nicely done, uh, I gotta say, the sculpt on his body is pretty tremendous, his belt, 
buckle is a little it's okay you know the red and the black but it's not painted perfectly well uh, you know i might want to go over it again and then the the belt itself like the plastic is cut it's such a simple piece but it's cut really weirdly on the bottom you see that it's all like choppy looking it's like throughout like the whole the whole thing it's a little bit choppy looking like they didn't cut that plastic very well Eh, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely something to point out. His little shorts actually do have some wrinklage, um, which is nice. You know, that's fine. Just one color there. Um, his feet look good. I do like his feet. Really cool looking. You know, I, I would have preferred if his nails were painted a little bit darker, like maybe a shade darker on both his hands and his toenails. But... It looks, it looks good enough, that's for sure. Does this proportions look good, though? I think so. You know, that, that's that's pretty beasty, I would say. You know, that that's not bad. He does have a little bit of a hard time standing straight up because of the way the feet are done. But uh, we'll look at that more in articulation. But overall, I think the look, it works. It definitely works for Beast. So articulation's pretty good on this guy. Head is on... The standard um, hinge ball joint, um, you know, you can't go, <laughs> if you want it to go all the way up, you're going to have to just take off his head, you know, if, like I had that pose before, um, you know, to start out, but yeah, it's there. Then you got butterfly joints here. Oh, that one's really tight, but the, now it's a little looser. So a nice butterfly joint and it's sculpted inside the butterfly joint. I didn't talk about that before, but yes, that's a really nice touch. Then you got hinge swivel otherwise, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow actually works pretty good for a big guy. Hinge swivel at the wrist. Now his chest, actually I want to talk about this as well in conjunction with the butterfly joint. This is the style that they're using for the Power Rangers and Overwatch. So this is the first time I've seen it on a Marvel Legends. So it could be the future of all these Hasbro figures um, because you got you know, the ab crunch there, and then you have the top joint there, you know, to move around. So you get no waist swivel, but you get this joint and this joint. So that's the difference here um, that I'm seeing in Marvel Legends for the first time that I've just been reviewing a lot with the Overwatch and Power Rangers lines. Legs, he could do that much of a split. Kicks that far back and eh, kicks, I mean, forward and eh, pretty far back, I guess. Then you got the ratcheted thigh joint, double jointed knee. Again, works very well. Ankle rocker, hinge, which is tight. Very, very tight on mine. On that side, this side is pretty good. The other side is really tight. And then he's got the foot joint, um, which I feel like on both feet, they're not loose, but they feel a little bit loose. And that's why I'm talking about like with the posing between... Oh, that's really stuck joint on that side. I got to heat it up maybe. Uh, and the feet, he's, sometimes he's not standing perfectly straight, but he can get into a, a wide variety of poses, which is nice. Um, or <laughs> oh, oh, the head, you know. Ugh. It's good. I mean, the, the, for a big guy, it's it's a lot of articulation. Uh, oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> And, and I think it works pretty fine. All right, so we're about to do size comparisons here. But I just want to reiterate, like, getting him to stand straight up like this did take me a little bit because his feet, um, you know, his toe hinges kind of want to go forward a little bit. So just to note, that's what's been going on with me and my particular figure. And here he is with the aforementioned Gambit to start our size comparisons properly. Um, they look good together. I feel like the scale is pretty cool. Here he is with a fellow blue guy in Sonic the Hedgehog. SH figure arts Pikachu. NECA Spyro. Mezco Popeye. The Lightning Collection Lord Zed, which is actually a big figure. Uh, so you can really see here how big Beast is. And let's end with another Beast, the Mezco Kong. And my final thoughts as Beast barks at the moon here. Um, he's good. He's he's a good figure. He, you know, the, the my worst 
thing about them is the glossy head. Um, the thing I like the least, I should say, is the glossy head. Um, the toe hinge, yeah, that, that balls me a little bit. It, it, it's not like it completely hinders me from posing him like so. Um, so it's it's fine. Uh, I don't really have that much of a problem with it. Uh, um, but overall, he, he's got a nice sculpt and he looks pretty good. And I, again, I, you kind of wish they gave you an extra head here instead of putting the bath piece um, with this particular figure. At least that's my opinion there. All right, and that is my review. Hope you dug it. This definitely fills the need for a piece for me, though. That, that, that I'll definitely say. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee. And until next time, peace out, peeps.